Hello friends, I am Sharyu Pujari and I am a verified educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on classification of air pollutants. So that you will see in detail in this lesson. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe our Unacademy YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on classification of air pollutants by Sharyu Pujari. So this is a short introduction here about me. This is the link where you can follow me on an academy learning app. This is my profile where you can find my other courses as well. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe our YouTube channel. So friends, uh, let's start with the classification of air pollutants. In my previous lesson, we have seen an intro detailed introduction to air pollution. We have seen its definition also. Uh, we have seen what is air pollutant in that lesson. So air pollutant is nothing but it is the substance in the air that can have adverse effect on human and ecosystem right so that substance is known as air pollutant so the uh, pollutants can be classified as first is primary pollutant and secondary pollutant so what are the primary pollutants so the primary pollutants are usually produced from process such as ash from volcanic eruption for example so2 from factories CO from vehicles right so these are primary pollutants which are produced from processes such as or we can say primary pro pollutants are the pollutants which are uh, what uh, those which are emitted directly from the identifiable sources right and next is the uh, next point is the when primary pollutants reacts or interact then secondary pollutants are formed so when primary pollutants reacts or interacts then secondary pollutants are formed like when smoke reacts with so2 smog is formed so smog is a secondary pollutant right so uh, primary pollutants as i said which are emitted directly from identifiable sources uh, which are like nitrogen oxides sulfur oxides carbon monoxide organic compounds particulate matter cfc that is chlorofluorocarbon and radioactive pollutants so these are uh, come under primary pollutants and secondary pollutants are formed when primary pollutants react in atmosphere so that is smog in smog industrial smog is there photochemical smog is there that are the two types of smogs next is the ground level ozone when the ozone is in stratosphere it is safe but when it is in troposphere or on the ground level it is uh, act as a pollutant and it is harmful for human beings right so ground level ozone is air poll secondary air pollutant next is aerosols and acid rain so these are some type of secondary pollutants so this was the classification regarding the air pollutants that is primary air pollutant and secondary pollutants so each characteristics of this we are going to see in my next lesson in which i will explain each one that is nitrogen oxide sulfur oxides the major uh, air pollutant characteristics we are going to see as some of the uh, what you can say mcqs can be asked on this part of the lesson right so the concentration of air pollutants expressed in terms of micrograms per meter cube or ppm or ppb so the concentration of these air pollutants is generally expressed in micrograms per meter cube or ppm or ppb that is parts per million and parts per billion right so for gases the ppm can be converted to uh, micrograms per meter cube by this formula so microgram per meter cube is equal to ppm into grams of mol uh, molecular mass that is g molecular mass into 10 raised to 3 by liter per mole or meter cube per mole right so this is one formula or i am going to give a detailed conversion for each that is microgram per meter cube to ppm or ppm to microgram per meter cube or microgram per meter cube to ppb like this conversions we are going to see in this 
lesson right so the volume occupied by gas depends on temperature and pressure so first of all we need to find out the vol the relation among the pressure and temperature and volume so volume occupied by a gas generally depends on temperature and pressure right so avogadro's law says that one mole, mole of any gas or one mole of any one gas occupies the same volume as one mole of any other gas at the same temperature and pressure so at the same temperature and pressure any uh, mole any one mole of gas occupies the same volume of as one mole of any other gas right or the law states that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain contain equal number of molecules right so this is very important law here so uh, according to that law v is equal to rt by p so here r is universal gas constant it is equal to 82.05 into 10 raised to minus 6 and p is pressure in atmosphere and t is uh, temperature in degree kelvin so at standard temperature and pressure temperature at 0 degree celsius is 273 degree kelvin and one atmosphere pressure so v is equal to rt by p we know this relation so here r we have taken as 82.05 into 10 raised to minus 6 temperature we have taken in kelvin so 273 divided by at one atmosphere pressure that is one so we get 22.39 into 10 raised to minus 3 so approximately 22.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube so this is our volume uh, at uh, what we can say same temperature and pressure or this temperature and the one standard temperature and pressure so m gram of any ga gas at standard temperature pressure occupies 22.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube right so this we have calculated here so m gram of any gas at standard temperature pressure occupies 22.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube so one meter cube of any gas at standard temperature pressure weights this m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 grams right so this is one important uh, <coughs> a relation right so one ppm is equal to one part of any gas divided by 10 raised to 6 parts of air right so one part of any gas is one meter cube of any gas divided by 10 raised to 6 meter cube of air so here one meter cube of any gas here we have calculated that is m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 10 raised to 6 grams per meter cube now it is in gram so grams per meter cube so friends here I have given the slide numbers so do write down the steps according to the slide number so it will be easy for you to understand later. So here we have got this uh, equation so next m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to minus 3 this 10 raised to 6 we have taken up that is into 10 raised to minus 6 right so we get m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to 3 gram per meter cube so it is m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to 3 into if we do 10 raised to 6 we get our answer in micrograms per meter cube from gram to micrograms per meter cube then we get m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to 3 so if we cancel this we get 20 uh, m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to 3 micrograms per meter cube cube right so in this way we get this convergence the convergence are as follows so 1 ppm is equal to m upon 22.4 into 10 raised to 3 micrograms per meter cube at standard temperature and pressure where m here i am mentioning is molecular weight of gas right so m is the molecular weight of gas so 1 ppm into 1 micrograms per meter cube we have seen so 1 microgram per meter cube will be equal to 22.4 divided by m into 10 raised to 3 ppm at standard temperature and pressure so 1 ppb parts per billion is equal to m upon 22.4 
micrograms per meter cube at stp and 1 microgram per meter cube is equal to 22.4 by mppb at standard temperature and pressure so these conversions are very important so based on these conversions many questions are asked in gate exam right so uh, express uh, uh, one value in what we can say uh, express one unit to another unit this type of questions are asked and this type of questions we are going to see in my next lesson that is solved example part one and solved example part two on air pollution please do uh, follow me so that you will get notified every time i publish a new lesson or new course on this platform so this is the slide numbers here so please do uh, write down the steps according to the slide so you will not get confused so please cross check the things also if i have gone wrong somewhere please do let me know in the comments and uh, if you have any doubt you can comment me below the lesson so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons do share this video and subscribe our youtube channel thank you